Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you guys how to replace the CPU in one of these Dell Latitudes E6 uh, E6 uh, 5110 so yeah I just got to get something all right I'm back so yeah, let's just get straight into it. Uh, this laptop doesn't turn on. It only turned on once, and that took a lot of trial and error, and I accidentally unplugged it while unplugging a VGA cable, uh, you know, because I tried to connect it to a monitor to see if I could get some, you know, video output out of it, but it hasn't turned on since, and... I'm not sure, but there might be corrosion in the port, so it probably has water damage. So, anyways, just get uh, straight into this. Crack on the battery. I've seen that before. Um, but yeah, so we can just unscrew this screw right here and it doesn't come out so you can just pull this cover out and this is the heat sink and fan assembly and you have to take out the fan first so you don't have to necessarily unplug it so you can just leave it plugged in but I'm gonna unplug it because you know so first of all Unscrew the fan. And you can remove it, take it out. <clears throat> now that that's out, you can unplug it. You can just get straight to removing the heat sink. Now this is the GPU and this is the CPU right here, which you can see is socketed, so that's probably why I'm making this video. So now that, that now that that's like uh unscrewed, you can just slide it out in like that. And there we go. And I'm not going to replace the thermal paste on this because, you know, it doesn't work when I plug. And it does show signs of life when plugged in, but only the CP the CPU gets really hot really fast or pretty fast, you know, can feel the heat right away. And um yeah, so it doesn't work something shorting definitely because, you know, why would it get extremely hot in one area randomly? So now can remove uh, this, you know, just turn it counterclockwise like this. And once that's like that, can just remove CPU. There we go. And I believe you can upgrade this to a Core i7. I'm not sure if you can upgrade it or, you know, to Core i9. I doubt that, but. <coughs> yeah, it's our CPU. And now we can just put the CPU back into the slot. This is an Intel i5. Turn it clockwise to keep it in there. And yeah. And of course mine doesn't work, so I'm not gonna do anything, so yeah. But if you have a working model, then you probably should <coughs> upgrade it if you want to. You 
and just screw the heat sink down. And now that that's done, can just slot the fan back into place, connect, connecting its connector, screwing in its two screws, holding it in place. So now that that's done, we can just you know, screw on, and slide this cover back on, screwing it into place. And if this doesn't screw back in, that means it's not aligned properly. So, you can just slot in the battery. And, uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. Pretty short one. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, check out my Twitter at ufelix5. I don't post on there very often, but still, check it out. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.